My name is Barry Jones and I'm a Regional Sales Director with Hensolt UK. I'd like to talk today about our SharpEye Mark V radar, which was specifically designed for naval use on smaller craft. Navy's law enforcement and special operation groups often choose to use smaller patrol boats for littoral and riverine tasks, and these don't require the same radar that you might find on a larger ship, such as a frigate or destroyer. Smaller craft also pose some interesting challenges. We became aware that below a certain size of vessel, these type of military operators were struggling to find a radar which was purpose-built for their small craft applications. Hensolt already manufactured its successful SharpEye Mark 11 for larger naval ships, so Mark V was created and optimised for smaller governmental craft to hopefully address some of their unique challenges. Before I explore these challenges, I'd like to say that the Mark V is still very much a SharpEye radar, just like its larger sibling. Mark 11. It uses the same solid state, pulse correlation and Doppler processing concepts. However, smaller craft, obviously, tend to have less space. Often they only have room for one radar, where larger naval ships usually have multiple radars. Smaller craft are often faster, more manoeuvrable and provide a less stable platform in bad weather. Furthermore, small craft often don't have AC power on board and require their equipment to work from a DC supply coming through a bank of batteries. What both large and small naval craft have in common is the desire to see small radar targets in less than ideal weather. If you think for a moment about the needs of a leisure boater, they are primarily concerned with being able to spot large ships in bad visibility, usually to avoid a collision or to find their way back to their mooring pontoon in bad visibility, such as fog or at night. However, military users have the same navigational needs, but in addition, they have a surveillance requirement, the need to be able to detect threats, whether this takes the form of pirates in a small wooden skiff with an outboard motor, another small patrol boat with a low radar signature, or even enemy forces using a two-man kayak or jet board. SharpEye does this very well. It uses an export control technology which sees small targets, not only through fog, but in heavy monsoon-like rain or where there are big seas running and small targets find it easier to hide in order to escape their pursuers. Leisure radars are designed for navigation and collision avoidance. They're an aid to navigation. The SharpEye Mark V is both a navigation and surveillance asset. It's a two-in-one product so it meets the limited space criteria on small craft. It has a 1.3 or 1.9 metre open rotating scanner so that it's suitable for boats ranging from a 10 metre rib up to a 60 metre fast attack craft. It can work from a 24 volt DC supply and the antenna rotation speed can be varied to suit the speed of the vessel it's fitted on. We use an open scanner because it gives a much narrower horizontal beam width than an enclosed radome antenna and so provides much better azimuth discrimination and targets are close to other objects. Mark V is a 2D combined navigation and sea search surveillance radar. It can supply it as a complete radar with its own display or just as a sensor. The fact that it can be supplied as a sensor only means it's also ideal for use on an unmanned surface vessel which are becoming more and more popular in navies. USVs in military use are often working in dangerous or inhospitable locations but it makes sense that you really need the best eyes you can get on board in terms of camera and radar sensors as you have no human watchkeeper on board. Mark V has a number of tactical features accessible through its display which makes the radar signature harder to detect. And because it is purpose designed for naval use, it can be supported in the long term with spare parts, localised maintenance support and training as would be appropriate for a naval radar. Hensolt has a history of innovation and technology firsts. We are working on several new features. One that I can talk about now concerns platform stabilisation. Small craft tend to move about a lot more than their larger counterparts. This could be due to the need for faster acceleration, harder turns and violent avoidance manoeuvres, or it could be because smaller craft tend to pitch and yaw more in bad weather. Either way, it means that small craft radars are often looking up in the sky or down into the waves, instead of being focused on the surface targets they need to detect and track. We have an optional stabilisation unit that will keep the Mark V looking at those targets all the time, even when the boat that it's fitted on is healing in a fast turn or climbing up to go over the top of wave tops. By constantly watching the target of interest, you improve your ability to stay locked on the target and keep it visible. The Mark V is in current production and we've already supplied a number to undisclosed navies for a variety of small vessel types. 